boy, DL47 all day for real, popping off as much Rugby League information as possible. On DL47 Rugby League stats for real all day in this bitch. Right now, the 997 wooden spoon in Australian Rugby League. This time going to Western Suburbs. Said already. Every year, 983 after 999, it was either West or Illawarra Steelers getting the wooden spoon. And when one of them got it, the other one only just avoided it. And so you don't miss any crucial Rugby League information. Watch this video all the way through to the end as far away. So, it's really much there. Same old story for us in 987. Um, like, attack doing a little bit sometimes, but defence paper thin. Zero, or well not zero, but minimal concentration and aptitude in defence. I've already said they quite often they were conceding five and 600 points in the season, and that's what happened again in 987. And as far as Illawarra were concerned, they just did enough to comfortably avoid the spoon. West, from their 26 rounds, had two buys, only managed five wins, 17 losses and two draws. Whereas Illawarra from their 26 round had the two buys, but they'd managed eight wins and 16 losses. So Illawarra ending up with 20 points and West ending up with 16 competition points at season end, season's end. So Illawarra this time finishing third last, which was a bit better than usual for them. And Penrith finishing second last and West in dead last. So pretty much, um, yeah, pretty much like a straightforward wooden spoon this time. So West stats, they'd scored 339 points in attack. So not very much, but the, the defence was even worse. Conceding 527 points in the season, so at least it wasn't 600 and something like it was in some of their other 980 spoons, but still still alarming nonetheless. Four and against minus 188 points. And um, the scorers, you wouldn't expect them to be very much, and they're obviously not. The top point scorer for West, Ian Schubert, who got a try and 45 goals, a total of 94 points. Didn't even have a play to get to the century of points. And for the try scorers, they couldn't even have a try scorer get to double figures, get the 10 tries. The most they had was Jason Allenson, who got eight tries for West in 997, and also Alan Geelan, who got six tries for West in 997. That was the most any West player could get in the try scoring department. So then, all that's left is um the moments in the sun and the most embarrassing moments. So the seven games where they got some competition points, five wins and two draws, but just to really put emphasis on, emphasis on West woes, the most embarrassing moment came after their best win of the year to show that their best win of the year was, in fact, yeah, just a fluke, just a one-off. So the games that did, West did get some competition points in 987, amongst all the usual heavy losses. In 1987, round two, they'd beaten Parramatta 32-16. And in round seven, they had easily their best win of the year, where they beat Eastern Suburbs 17 points to four, 987 round seven. And East, although they struggled a lot too in the 1980s, in 1987 was an exception for East. They had an excellent season and were one of the um, semi-finalists in 1987. So West beating East 17-4 in 1987 round 7. But, like I said, just after they'd had that moment in the sun, after they'd had their best win of the year, they then had their worst loss of the year, the very next game. 1997 round 8, inexplicably, even though they lost by um, 35 points, inexplicably kicked the field goal when they lost to Canberra 46-11. So trailing Canberra Raiders 46-10, 1987 round 8, for some but unbeknown reason, West decided to kick, to kick the field goal when they were behind by 36 points. Maybe they were just frustrated because of how embarrassing that loss was. Not unexpected. It was against the Green Machine Raiders, who were an awesome team at the time, and, of course, made the 1987 Green Final, which they lost to Manly 18-8. So it was expected that they tail up the wooden spoon as West, but 46-11, most unusual scoreline, because tries are now worth four points, not three points like they used to be before 1983. Yeah, so that most embarrassing loss coming, yeah, proving that the win against season round seven was, in fact, just a fluke, just a one-off. 1987 round 10, West managed the 24-20 win over Norths, Norths weren't very good either, though. In round 14, they'd managed a 16 points to 8 win over Penrith. Again, Penrith weren't very good, like I already said, finishing second last in 1987. Then they showed a tiny little bit of fight a few weeks later. 1987 round 18, a four-all draw with South, and round 19, a 28-all draw with Cronulla. So two of the reasonable teams they managed two draws with, at least. But then they would only win one more game for the season, and that didn't come until round 25, when they beat Balmain in a King size upset, 14 points to 10. So there you go. 1987 wooden spoon popped up and dusted, and then 1988's like very similar. It's worth getting it again, and this time it's even worse than 1987. But then, like I said, Illawarra go back to getting it in 1989, and West just avoid it. Thank you so much for watching all the way through the end for ongoing continued pulverising approval support, and thank you for not missing any crucial rugby information. You boy all day, you do all 47. Toodle away.